showing y'all how to do a very fun soda science activity using materials that you probably already have in your home. All right, so here are the materials that you are going to need. You are going to need some empty soda cans. I've got some Dr. Pepper ones here. I've already rinsed them out. If you don't have Dr. Pepper cans, um, Coke and Pepsi work okay, uh, but preferably Dr. Pepper, that works the best for this experiment. You're also going to need a bowl of cool water. Um, ice water is totally fine. I put my bowl of tap water in my fridge for about an hour before we started filming this. Um, you're gonna need some more water. Temperature on this one doesn't really matter. It's just gonna go into our cans. And then you need some tongs for handling the cans. They're gonna get pretty warm here in just a second. Now, last thing that you need for this experiment is kind of a two-parter. You need access to a stove top and some burners. And so, of course, if you're gonna be using that, another thing that you need is a responsible person participating in this acti activity, uh, preferably an adult, right? Okay, so step one for the experiment is you're gonna take uh, an empty can, like of Dr. Pepper, like I said, and you're gonna take some of your water and pour it into your can. Um, you don't have to be really exact with this, you just want enough water to cover the bottom of the can. Now I'm gonna put my can onto my burner. I'm gonna turn it on and set it on high. Put it right there. And my goal is for the water that's in the can to start boiling. We know that it's gonna be boiling because we're gonna see some water vapor, some steam coming out of the opening of the can. Now what that water is gonna be doing while it's boiling is it's gonna be turning from a liquid into a gas. And that water vapor is going to push all of the air that's in there right now out of the container. The water vapor is gonna fill up the can and it's gonna cause the pressure inside of the can to rise really rapidly. So let's go ahead and wait, get a close up of our can and watch for that steam to start coming out. All right, so it looks like our can is ready to go. We've got some steam coming out of the top of the can. So it's time for us to start our final step of the experiment. I'm gonna go ahead and take my tongs here in just a second. I'm gonna grab the can with the boiling water and I am going to dunk it. The top of the can goes in first, dunk it into my bowl of cool water and we're gonna watch what happens, all right? So I'm gonna grab my can with my tongs, my palm is gonna be up, so it's gonna be easier for me to dunk the can in the water, and then keep your own eye on the can and watch what happens. Ooh. Very cool! All right, so it looks like our can exploded. Oh my goodness, it imploded, I'm sorry. There we go, we got a lot of water that went in there. All right, now why does this happen? I'll explain that here in just a second. First, I'm gonna get another can going um, so we can try that out and watch it one more time. I've already put a little bit of water in my can. So what happened, and this can is cool to the touch now because of that cold water. What happened when we took that can of boiling water that was filled with the water vapor, we took that hot can that had a lot of air pressure on the inside and dumped it into the bowl of cool water. Um, the water vapor switched back from being a gas into a liquid and the, um, the air pressure around the outside of the can was still pretty high even though the air pressure inside the can dropped really dramatically. And so to balance those two levels out, to make things a little bit more equal, the can imploded, it crushed itself 
um, to make things a little bit more equal. So let's go ahead and try this one more time and hopefully we can get an even better crushing shot. Participating in the activity, let us know how it went. Thanks.